family. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm coming to you from Birmingham, Alabama, and I want to show you guys something really cool. Off my parents' back porch here, you can see the Cahaba River down there. Now that uh, is normally a dark blue color, but today it's pretty muddy just because we had a big thunderstorm last night. Now, I want to jump into the scripture for today. It's going to be Luke chapter 2 verses 25 through 32 and says this now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon and this man was righteous and devout waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ and he came in the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel guys something that stands out to me is the anticipation that Simeon had for the coming Messiah the uh, intensity in which he sought after the coming Messiah it reminds me of like somebody going on a trip uh, they get really excited they're like searching all the sites trying to find out as much as they can about the place that they're gonna go and that's the uh, intensity that Simeon was waiting on the Lord or on the Messiah uh, so much so that when he does get to finally meet the Messiah he tells God he's like okay now I can depart in peace now I can now I can leave this life in peace guys I want to challenge you to be like Simeon to uh, start getting into the word even if it's just a script a uh, chapter a day Get into the Word and uh, tr grow that relationship with Christ so that you'll anticipate that much more going to heaven to be with Him for eternity. Love you guys.